welcome back to the quarry gardener today i have a truck full of and it isn't potatoes i know they look like potatoes but they're daffodil bulbs there you go and i'm going to try an experiment um, of planting daffodil bulbs in the second week of january um wouldn't necessarily advise anyone to do that because it's a big risk but two reasons why I'm doing it is I've got an awful big area here that if they don't work out if they don't come up if they don't flower I'm not losing anything because I only paid a pound for a sack or rather two sacks or two pound a pound per sack each one had about 300 bulbs in it so I've got two sacks so I've got approximately 600 bulbs here most of them have actually started to shoot and most of them feel firm um, so I'm going to give it a go it's an experiment if it doesn't work out I'm not losing anything for two pound um, a pound in US currency is approximately I think it's about one dollar thirty six cents thirty five cents something like that <sighs> I, can't, I can't complain if they don't work they don't work but hopefully they will so I'm going to plant them up the side this is the side or rather this is a path that we're trying to form up towards the woodland area in the quarry um, so it will define what will be a grass path which we started to mow last year which is not very good now it's quite muddy but hopefully it'll improve in the spring so the daffodils will flank either side of the path now the daffodils that I've picked up are called Fortune Narcissi Fortune I think it was um, I'll just show you to the camera should be able to focus on that hopefully yeah that's it was um, a UK bulb of the year I can't remember which year I don't know if it was last year or the year before but it's, at some point it was a, a bulb of the year for the UK uh, flowers March April um, so I'm going to give it a go it's an experiment planting in January when bulbs such as daffodil bulbs are normally planted in October so we'll see um, four scenarios could happen here. Uh, scenario one would be they don't emerge from the ground at all and I just have a big blank space. Um, number two, scenario two would be they come up blind so there would be all leaves and no flowers. Scenario three would be they um, come up and flower as they should in March, April. And scenario four would be um, the flower late. So it could be flowering in April, May. I don't know. As I say, this is an experiment. I'm going to give it a go. You'll see the results in the spring. I'll show you if it's worked or not. But I better get on with it. Because 600 bulbs is an awful lot. An awful lot of holes. I'll mass plant like I've done in the past, approximately five per um, planting hole. Um, I'll dig all of the holes first and see how I get on. Um, don't know whether I'll complete the task today because the ground is pretty heavy. Although it's back to our normal English, very mild winters. I think it's probably about eight, ten degrees, something like that today. It's very mild, very warm. So I'd better get on with it.
Okay, so I've done as much as I've got energy for today. Um, hopefully you could see from the time lapse that the holes are dug all the way up both sides now, both sides of the um, grass path. They dug up to the end of where the log stumps are. So I've kind of done about a third of the path, to be honest. Um, but I've dug all the planting holes. There's daffodil bulbs in all of them now, about five or six in each one. I only come across two very soft bulbs, unbelievable, and I've planted about 200 here. I need to cover over the planting holes with soil, but two bulbs out of 200 that are soft is incredible. Um, you never want to plant soft bulbs um, like these because if they had disease, they would spread to the other daffodil bulbs in the planting hole, and you don't want that because you would lose all of those bulbs. So your best is to throw them away. However, um, I've still got quite a bit more to do. Um, I'll continue on another day, but I think you've got the gist of what I'm trying to do here. Don't want to bore you too much. There's only so many planting, um, planting bulb vlogs you can watch without getting bored with it. So I'll finish here um, and I hope you've enjoyed it. And we'll see if the experiment works in the spring. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye for now.